Hey guys, welcome to another video tip on buymeaniphone.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can tether your iPhone 3G to a laptop in order to use uh, use your iPhone's 3G cellular capabilities on your on your laptop and be able to access the internet in case there's no Wi-Fi signal available to you. Now uh, keep in mind that um, tethering is against AT&T's data usage policy, and this is not something that you should take advantage of or, or abuse or use all the time or maybe even do it all. Um, I would say that this would only be for emergency situations where you would just have to get on your laptop to gain access to some site or get get some information. Although technically you should be able to do that already with your iPhone, but just in case you needed to use your laptop, that's the only reason I would say to use this. Um, consider yourself warned, you could be slapped with some serious fines and serious extra charges if they notice that your data usage on your iPhone plan is, is really up there. Um, so consider yourself warned, warned, that's the little disclaimer I'm going to put out there. Uh, but for those of you that want to give this a shot and be able to know how to do this, uh, I'm going to show you through the video how to do this. I'll, I'll also be posting the, um, the link uh, to the instructions that I found on uh, modmyiphone.com so you can view the step-by-step -step instructions if you want to try this yourself in case you can't follow the video. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to show you guys how to do this on my MacBook. So I'll be demonstrating this on, on the Macintosh. So let's get started. Okay, so keep in mind, in order to do this, you're going to have to have your iPhone jailbroken. And so the, the installer application that I'm using is called Cydia. And so I have to install, you need to install two programs on your iPhone in order to uh, get this tethering to work. So the first one we're going to be looking for is called 3Proxy. And so you just go into the networking section of Cydia. And uh, we'll scroll to the bottom here. There it is, 3Proxy, and click on that, and install that, and confirm it, here we go, and let, it, let it do its thing, it just takes a few seconds, and that's it, so I'm going to close the window. The next program I need to find is called Mobile Terminal, and so I'm just going to go ahead and search for that one. So click on the search button, go up here, type um, mobile, I'm sure it'll pop up. There it is, mobile terminal. So we're going to install that one as well. Confirm it <clears throat> and let it do its thing. And so those are the two applications you're going to need to have installed on your iPhone. And so this is done. So I'm going to click close window. Now we're going to go to the uh, Macintosh desktop. Let me show you on my MacBook what we need to set up on there. Okay, so now we need to go to airport setting on the top right corner there. Go to create network. And so what you want to do is just name it whatever you want to name it. I'm just going to name my iPhone 3G. You're going to go to require a password. You need to create at least a five digit number password. So I'm just going one, two, three, four, five. And that's it. Click OK. So now if you go up back to the top corner, you should see the signal should look like this for your airport setting right there. So now we're going to go back to the iPhone and we're going to select that network that we just created. I'm going to go to my settings button there. Please excuse the lag on my iPhone. <laughs> there you go. Wi-Fi currently is set to my, uh, my Wi-Fi router right now, but I need to switch it to iPhone 3G, which is what we just created. I'm going to type in my five digit password, one, two, three, four, five. Join. And now it's joined up. So now we're hooked up with that network that we just created. So now what I want to do is go press the right arrow here and see that IP address right there, the IP address? You want to write that address down because you have to input that later on into uh, your Firefox. So we're going to go to the home button. And so now this is where we go back to open up mobile terminal. It's right here. So I'm going to click on mobile terminal. Give it a few seconds to uh, start up. Okay, now, now we're going to type S O C K K S, socks. Okay, and then press return, and that's it. Just press the home button and just press it really quick so that way it'll be running in the background while we, uh, while we do this stuff on the, uh, on the thing. So now I'll go to, just go to Safari really quick to make sure. Look in the top corner up there, by the 3G should be the thing showing. It should not be showing your Wi-Fi. 
Now we're going to be going to Firefox again and go into our settings. So go to Firefox and then go up to the top, go to preferences, click on preferences. And so you're going to get this pop up window over here. We want to go to the advanced options right here. Make sure the network tab is clicked. And then we're going to go to settings right there. So you get this other pop up window that slides down. You want to change it to manual proxy configuration right here. And the IP address that we just wrote down from off the iPhone, that, this is where you're going to want to type it in. So we're going to type in our, our IP address here. 5254-91-24. And now change the port setting to 1080-1080. There we go, 1080. Make sure all your other ports are set to 0, 0, 0. All those zero and make sure socks v5 is, is a check mark there it's clicked on so we're going to click ok and now close that up now we want to go to firefox and go in the in the, in the address bar up here we're going to type about colon config press enter you can get this warning this is this might void your warranty changing these advanced settings care might could be harmful blah 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 just click i'll be careful i promise so now you get these configuration settings right here. So go to the filter part right here in the very top and type socks. So we can filter this through. Okay, so this is what we're going to look for. Network, proxy, socks, remote, DNS. And so usually uh, this says false right here in the value field. It usually looks like this. But what you want to do is double click on it and it will change it to true. And that's what we want to be. So what we want to do now is open up another tab. And we're just going to type in any web address on top to see if this works. We're going to buy me an iPhone.com. And there we go. We're online. So we're now surfing the web using our iPhone 3G uh, by, through the tab that we just set up. And of course, this is wireless. The iPhone's just sitting right next to my, my MacBook. So whenever you finish using um, the tether connection, you need to go back to mobile terminal and uh, just hold down the home button for a few seconds until it refreshes the whole screen. And that's when it completely quits out and it won't be running in the background anymore. So you need to do that step to make sure you are disconnected. Also, when you're fin finished using this tethered connection, you're going to have to go back to Firefox and go to your advanced settings. And remember when we created that manual proxy configuration, you need to go back in there and click on no proxy like I'm showing here in this freeze frame. So that way you can turn off that tethered connection and uh, you can start using your Wi-Fi again. So don't forget to do this step or else you won't be able to get on Firefox. And that's it. So uh, thanks for watching this tip on buymeaniphone.com on how to tether your iPhone 3G to a, a Macintosh laptop. I'm sure you can also do this on a, on a PC laptop, but I don't have one, so I'm not going to show that show you how to do that. Um, so keep in mind, like I said before, the, the warnings that I wouldn't recommend using this on a regular basis or constantly because AT&T will find out and they will find you or, or charge you extra if they notice that your data, data usage is a lot higher than usual. So keep that in mind, but uh, if you do need to use this for emergency situations, by all means. So thanks for watching.